really frustrating when you find yourself just kind of stuck behind a Capital Metro bus when you're in a hurry and you're in traffic, but you're going nowhere. A lot of us can relate to this guy. Traffic always uh, gets bad no matter, no matter where it's South Austin, downtown, it doesn't matter. Nope. So it's not uncommon though with all the traffic and Cap Metro though says it is working to change that but first they need your help to do that. Candy Rodriguez joining us live from Republic Square in downtown Austin with the details. Good morning Candy. John, we got ahead of y'all. We hopped on a bus and we are taking a ride around Austin this morning. And I'm one of the many that has been stuck behind a bus before as I'm driving home. And Cap Metro says they have a solution. It's a long term solution. They're talking about Project Connect's dedicated pathways. And joining us live this morning is Randy Clark, who is the president and CEO of Cap Metro, to tell us all about it. I mean, when people hear this, they hear dedicated pathways. Do they, does this mean they're, we're getting rid of a, a lane in the roadway, or, or how does this work? No, not at all. Well, thanks for having me. Project Connect's really about how do we have a better transit system in Austin. Austin's growing, and we're going to have to, you know, traffic's bad today, and with two more people moving the region, we're going to have to do something different. And the idea is how do we move more people than maybe just moving cars. So the idea of a pathway is we need some exclusive area to make those buses or trains move a lot faster and get out of traffic. So it benefits people that are in traffic and it also benefits people that are on transit or that can now take transit because their trip is better. So we don't really know yet exactly the pure engineering of how that would look, whether it's in the middle of the road, elevated, underground, etc. That's the next phase. What we're looking for is community engagement to see do we have the right corridors that they want to advance to that next engineering phase. Yeah, and you guys have started the meetings. You can see they're on your screen. There's a meeting tomorrow at the Austin Convention Center. Then there's one later that day at the Jewish Community Center. And then throughout on Saturday, a big one. But tell me a little bit about what the corridors are that you guys are looking at and what, how much this would mean or what it would mean for our wallets, essentially, right? Sure. Well, the corridors like this one here, we're on the 801, so we're going on South Congress right now. We, we have listed out that from the earlier community engagement process at South Congress, Guadalupe, Lavaca, North Lamar, and Riverside are probably the most important for high capacity transit. They're the largest for development, the largest for ridership, the people where more people are moving. And then there's some other major corridors that we want to have another analysis like South Lamar and Burnett or Maynard Road or Pleasant Valley as an example. So those are the places we're really looking at. As far as what you think from a cost point of view, uh, again, that's what the next phase is about. It's, it'd be bad faith for us to kind of come up with estimates based on not, not having engineering work done. So the next phase is to say corridors are correct, let's do engineering, work with the community, we'll ultimately come up with a very transparent cost and we'll figure out how we're going to pay for it. All right, sounds good. And so they'll be asking for your feedback and we'll have more details posted later on today at KXAN.com for you to check out and take a closer look at those corridors. Thank you, Randy, for being with us this morning. Guys, I'll send it back to you.